Hey, what's up, people? My name is Insert Name here, and this is my Hunter Hunter Chapter 342 review. Now, this chapter was very dialogue heavy, insanely dialogue heavy. So dialogue heavy that I almost fell asleep at the just the politicians talking about the Dark Continent and the calamities. Now, although it's completely relevant to the story, and we do get some new information, I just couldn't help but just uh, kind of grown at some points, because you know what? It was 10 o'clock, it was 10.30 when I was reading that chapter, and the last thing I wanted to do was read all this dialogue. I want to go to the Dark Continent already. I want to see Beyond that Zero, what the hell he could do. I want to see what Gene can do. I want to see what Pariston can do. What the fuck is up with Pariston, dude? He, he's got to do some major shit right now. Okay, so in the beginning of this chapter, we have Beyond Netero just sitting in a cell with the Zodiacs questioning him. And, ooh, Beyond Netero already making the assumption, you guys, you're going to release me and we're going to go to the New World together, which does end up happening. They're going to take, you know, they're going to take Netero, Beyond Netero, to the Dark Continent uh, under their surveillance and then release him there. You know, just because. Because it's Beyond Netero, why not? Okay. With the whole politician thing, we do get some new information. Because I have the... I forgot the exact number, but I think it's like 129. I have the 129 uh, Voyagers to go to the Dark Continent. I think about 30 survived? Hold on a second. Yeah, about 28 people survived. Including Beyond Netero. And only 3 pe people could go back to their daily lives. So, again... This was 129 people. 100. What's the one? 149. One, no, 149 attempts to challenge the voyage. Only 20 people survived. So, one people, it was the voyages. So, the Dark Continent is nothing to screw with because we can assume that those 25 people that did come back are fucked up, like completely fucked up, beyond Metro, he's all wrapped up because it's beyond Metro, and we also find out more about the just basic Hunter Hunter setup, because we have the regular continents here, you know, V5, known as V6 now, because I guess we're adding Kakin into it, you know, so everyone's buddy buddy, good terms, on good terms, so we have the regular continent in the center, and then the dark continent surrounding this shit. And it's just, whoa. So, you're... Everyone in Hunter Hunter is like a speck. And then the, hunt, and then the dark continent is fucking vast as shit, dude. It's crazy. And also, about the guys. The gatekeepers. Now, that's self-explanatory. We can assume that once they reach the dark continent, there is going to be a giant-ass gate. Well... Yeah, we saw it in the last chapter. It looked like a giant ass gate, I, if I can remember correctly. And if you can't pass the gate, you ain't getting the dark continent. That's all there is to it. So, okay. All in all, this this section of the chapter was kind of boring. Not gonna lie. But we did get some new information as to what we're dealing with. You know? Um, sorry, because I. I wish I could just do jump cuts and shit, because I was doing good there, but... Wish I could just do jump cuts. I need to get, like... Even though I hate jump cuts, I hate jump cuts. Like, all these top YouTubers do jump cuts. They say, hey, I'm over here. Hey, I'm over here. Hey, I'm over here. Hey, look. Look at me. I don't want to shoot. But... Just damn, dude. I can't get my thoughts to you. I mean, with other chapters, I can... With other chapter reviews, I can do. But with Hunter x Hunter, oh, fuck no. No, no, I need, I need a reference, dude. Okay, hold on. Okay. So, yeah. I already explained that before. They're just gonna transport into the Dark Hunter. Okay, the whales. Kakin has created these ships in the form of, you know, whales. I think they have about 100,000 produced? No, they can transport about... Over 100,000 people. Hold on a sec. I think that's it. But, um... 
yet yeah, oh 200 they can carry about 200,000 people and they said pretty soon they're gonna be, make about a million a million of these freaking whales and they're thinking about colonizing Kagan is thinking about colonizing in the dark continent so right off the bat we're gonna have some chimera ant massacre shit on a different scale on a different scale dude because what is what is Kagan thinking what is Nectar thinking I will take you there yeah but beyond I love you man you've only been here for how many chapters like three and you're already a badass dude but still, I will take you there okay we believe you with these ships but no one's gonna survive that's the thing you're good you have to colonize but we again we don't know how beyond did it in the dark continent I mean who knows who knows how far he actually progressed who knows maybe they say it but I just fucking forgot but who knows how far he really progressed I mean who knows maybe he made it past the gate he, uh, the gatekeepers or maybe not who knows Again, we we really don't know where like the gatekeepers are located in within the dark continent. And again, if they didn't mention it, you know, it, it's me. I can't remember this shit. Oh, Hunter Hunter, it's it's way too much, man. I can't remember this shit. Okay. So I have the back. The dark continent is nothing to fuck with, and these people are not taking the dark continent seriously at all. Cause they're actually seriously, they're actually thinking about colonizing. Beyond, you're a badass, but what are you, what are you doing, man? You're gonna cause a, another Chimera, Chimera Ant massacre on a whole new scale, because these are about hundreds of thousands of people going. And concerning the, um, the production of the whale ships, it really makes you think. I mean, wait, do they tell you how many they actually made? Hold on a second. But, okay, so they said that they're, they'll send a million ships to the Dark Continent in the next few years. Few. So that may mean that we're going to have a time skip in Hunter x Hunter. Maybe, okay, if they said like a few years, maybe like, you know, two, three years. Which will be cool, because Gone, how old is Gone? I think he's 14 at this moment, so he'll be like 17. He will be we'll so, if there's a three-year time skip. So that'll be cool. Um, and who knows? Who knows how strong Gon will be when he's 17? Maybe he could actually go to the Dark Continent. But this chapter, it really does imply that there may be a time skip in Hunter x Hunter. In which Gon may be strong enough to go to the Dark Continent. Who knows? Maybe there won't be a time skip. Maybe they'll just take the amount of ships that they have now. And then just sail on over there. Because going at this point in time, I know last week I was thinking, oh, bring in, bring in a Jean, bring in Gone, oh, bring in Karapika, hell, throw in Leorio too. But now I'm thinking, no fucking way. No fucking way, dude. Gone can't deal with this shit. If Beyond barely made it out of there, then Gone can't make it in there. That's a fact, an undeniable fact okay but it does imply that there may be a time skip but I also Togashi I think he made a statement like maybe he'll have some like, backlash from this arc and who knows maybe maybe Gon won't be in it but you know what that's fine because we have Jean and Pariston Jean and Pariston they may be the two main characters for the arc which will be weird. It it really will. I mean, because we're we're so used to seeing, you know, Gon and Kilua. Well, mostly Gon and Kilua in the arts. But now, I was kind of was kind of mad because like, oh, we're not getting Kilua. But now we're not getting Gon. So it's a whole. It might be a whole different setup. So you know what? I'm fine with that. I'm I'm glad that we're seeing something new here. And who knows? Maybe we'll see Jean. And Harrison's abilities.
because we need to we need to freaking put these guys in a top 10 list right now in terms of strength i mean seriously dude we haven't known about these two ever i mean damn i want to see gene's nun ability it should be sick i mean i mean damn i can't I can't wrap my head around it. How strong is Gene? How strong is Pariston, dude? It's it's crazy. Crazy shit's gonna happen in Hunter Hunter. And another crazy thing. Gene. Okay, so he let them he let the uh Beyond's group no, okay, Beyond's going to the Dark Continent. And he literally says Send in the five thousand Chimera. Oh yes. Ooh. -hoo. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Oh my god. Sorry, but... Oh. This is good. This is good. I like where this arc is going so far. Send in the 5,000 Chimera. Now. Okay, so... We... I guess Pariston still has... Yes, Pariston still has those, um... Those are spores that were left over in the um, uh, the palace during the Chimera Anarch. You know, on those trees and shit like that. So, 5,000 of them. Alright, baby. Yes. That's good. Um, in terms of strength level, I see them being a threat towards maybe maybe some zodiac members probably not but just regular humans in general because honestly these chimera ants i'm seeing them as more like um, like squad leader level you know like the queen squad leaders in the chimera ant arc like like a, what's his name colt and uh she too. What was that rabbit guy's name? Who fucking cares? But those guys' levels, like on the level of that. So I don't see them being much of a threat, but still, it's gonna be crazy piled in with all this other shit. With all this other shit. I mean, look, we got the calamity. We've seen the calamities, so we know this place is freaking crazy. Okay. All in all, like, I really wanted to just condense this review, but it didn't. <sighs> I, was, I wanted to give it around, like, six minutes, but that didn't happen. Okay. All in all, good chapter. If you... Because what I did, I just, I read the summary, and, you know, just take in all the information, plus all the shit you remember from the chapter, and you're in here. Because if... Because, like, I'm not doing another... 26 to 30 minute review like I did last week, it's, it's not happening, but I'll do, because I know it's Sunday, but I'll do Hunter Hunter reviews on time, um, at the second to last week of June, because, you know, summer, summertime, da, 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 you know, summertime, it's coming. So, I'll have time to do full blown, full blown Hunter Hunter reviews. But at, at this point in time, it's just not happening. I got, I got way too much shit to do. I gotta cram. I gotta cram some knowledge, which I'm not ready for. But, I'm not studying this shit. I won't come more, man. Okay. Overall, good chapter. In fact, yeah, it was a good chapter. Very dialogue heavy. With the politicians, you know what? It was boring at times, but when you look at it for what it is, it did have a it did have a shit ton of info. Uh, same with the with the whales and five thousand chimerians and the gatekeepers. So all in all, the chapter liked it. Can't wait for next chapter um expect another late review two late reviews sorry
I just, I don't have time to do full-blown Hunter Hunter reviews. Okay. I dragged this shit out. Chapter. Okay. See you guys later.